Oh, all right, time to check out my new YouTube video. Let's see how we win. Wait, what? I got no views. How is this even possible? I don't, I don't get it, guys. My thumbnails are amazing. What? Roblox thumbnail tutorial. Now, this was requested by one of you guys in the comments, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, before we actually start making it, I'm just gonna say that this is how I make my thumbnails. Is it the best way? Probably not. There's probably more better, easier methods, but I'm just gonna show you how I do mine. So, the way I made it was I did it on PC. For this video, I'll be using Photopea, which is completely free, and we're gonna be using Roblox Studio. For this video, I'm gonna be showing you two types. The first type is called the Roblox Studio type, which I just made up the name of. Basically, you just create the whole thing in Roblox Studio, and then you just take a screenshot of that, and that's the thumbnail. Good example of that is Sketch. He makes a lot of his thumbnails. Mostly, it looks like it's in Roblox Studio. I don't really know, but that's sort of what I think. And then the second method is a cartoon method, where you just make it look more cartoony. You add some lines. That's sort of like really popular with YouTubers like Flamingo, where they have a sort of the black lines around the character, which is sort of what I kind of do. Now, I'm not necessarily going to teach you how to make this specific style because every style is sort of unique. I'm just going to show you how I do mine. So to do this, we're going to start off by opening Roblox Studio. Now, you can select whatever you want. I'm just going to select Classic Baseplate. Now, let's say, for example, when you open Roblox Studio, you don't have any um, sidebars. All you're going to do is click on View at the top. And then from here, you have these two ones on the far left. We've got Explorer and Properties. We click on those two, and they should pop up on the right side or wherever they pop up. Right now, the next thing we're going to do is, let's say we want to include ourselves in the thumbnail, right? What we're going to do is we're going to go to plugins and we're going to use a plugin called load character. Now, if you don't have this plugin, do not worry. This is what we're going to do to install it. All you're going to do is just search up a guy called Already Pro. This should be the guy. His name is Logan. And then once we've done that, we're on his profile. We're going to scroll down to his groups. We have a group called load character. We're going to click on that. And now in the group's description, we have two links. We've got the pro link. And then we've got the light link. We're going to click on the light one because that is the free version. So as you can see, I already have it installed. All you got to do is just click on this button install and then just restart your Roblox and it should appear when you reopen it. All right, so now that we have the plugin, we're just going to click on it. And from here, we're just going to search in whatever you want. It can be whatever username you want. I'm going to use my own username. Now for here, it's up to you. You can pick either R6 or R15. I'm going to go with R6. Now the reason why I like to use R6 is because if we click on our character here and we open him up, now if we just select his arm, as you can see I'm rotating the whole arm. However, if we click on R15, now it's not going to move the whole arm, instead it's just going to move separate body parts, and that just becomes a big mess, so I prefer using R6. Alright, so now that we have our character, I'm just going to do a couple little things. I'm going to select my character, and where it says name in the properties tab, I'm just going to delete it. That gets rid of the name. Now that I have my character, I'm going to come up with a thumbnail, maybe like Rainbow Friends Chapter 1. Maybe he's going to look at a blue monster in the background. I'm going to go to the home. I'm going to click on Toolbox. And this is where the fun begins. Let's just search up Rainbow Friends. Okay, nice. So let's say, for example, we're going with Chapter 1, right? We're going to put in blue. Alright, so I've got my blue character inserted. Now, what we need is we need a background. Now, what I could even do is I could just search up Rainbow Friends map, and apparently it actually comes up with the map. Alright, so I've got the map. So now I'm just going to drag these guys inside. Now, this looks like a pretty good scene. Now, all I'm going to do is just position my camera to a point where I think this looks like a pretty good thumbnail shot. I think that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is, depending on what you're using, just take a screenshot. All right now here we have the thumbnail and I'm just going to save that. Now that we have that saved, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Google. So we're going to search up Photopea. Okay, so now that we are in Photopea, we're going to click on New Project. Now you can title us whatever you want. We're going to call it YT Thumbnail. Now for the dimensions, make sure it's in pixels. And now for a thumbnail, we're going to go 1280 by 720. Now I'm going to click create. All right, so now we've got our thing here. Now to insert, we're going to click on file. We're going to click on open and place. And then here is where you just find wherever it is on your desktop. All right, so for example, I found mine on my little folder over here that I created, and I'm just going to open it up. Okay, now let's say you've opened it up and it looks like this. Now, if you're wondering why it's invisible, it's probably because if we look to the right, our background is on top. We're just going to click on this and then drag it to the bottom. Now our thing is up top. I'm just going to scale it up using these little corners. 
and it's really up to you whatever scale you want this looks like a pretty good scale and now we are done we are done with the thumbnail now all i'm going to do is just click on file then i'm going to go down to export as and then just save it as either a png or a jpeg it's really up to you i'm going to do jpeg all right and then just click save and there we go that is your thumbnail done that is method one complete all right guys so this is what we're going to be making today now this is a rainbow friends thumbnail that i made myself for one of my youtube videos all right so to break down this image there are three main areas that i did the first one is the background is actually taken from the game itself i didn't make that myself i just took a screenshot from the game with my character that is a character of me crouched in the game which i just took a screenshot and then in terms of the actual cyan monster itself that is a, a screenshot taken from two different videos first video is one from my own recording where i was getting chased by him and then the second recording was just from another video where i just found a really good shot of him with his mouth open and basically i just combined those two together to get a really cool shot and then in terms of the box i just took a picture of me inside the box okay now that's just a quick little run through of how i did it now we're going to get in it from step one all the way to the very end all right guys so step one we're going to go into rainbow friends we're going to find that little castle area and just take a photo of the background all right so this is the area that i'm in and now here i reckon around about here we're going to take a photo of this roughly what a thumbnail size would be all right and then once i've got that all i'm going to do is just save it onto the desktop somewhere all right now the second part is i want my character to look like he's running away from the monster the one i'm going to do is i'm just going to press crouch just take a screenshot of that character so now i have my noob i'm going to take a photo of that one as well what we're going to do is just go onto my youtube video and i just found a good little frame of our cyan when he's running so what i'm going to do is just take a photo from my youtube video okay, and then what i did is that i went around to someone else's youtube video and i found a pretty good frame of when cyan's mouth was open so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take another screenshot of just that mouth being open all right so we have our white template we're going to start off with the background okay so there is one problem and that is that you can see the little mouse sort of cursor in the middle of the frame and that was because when i took the photo i sort of was in shift lock or whatever so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this little thing by selecting this little band-aid okay right here we're going to click on spot healing brush tool and now if we zoom in and we select the layer and just click on it and that is how we get rid of it all right so now i reckon the background is finished all right so now the next one is our noob we're just going to insert our noob in now all i'm going to do is just create a new layer on top of it and we're going to call it noob line trace get my paintbrush and make sure at the bottom that the black one is up top make sure that it's roughly around about i like to use around about five pixels and then all i'm doing is just a trace around these little points right this like little edges now if you're wondering how to create these straight lines i'm going to quickly show you so this is what i'm look like when i'm just clicking without holding shift that's what it does but if i'm going to click and then hold shift i'm going to create a line to wherever you point so i'm holding shift while clicking and then this is what happens if i'm not holding shift and i'm just clicking it's just going to create dots right so now going back to uh what i was doing previously all i'm doing is just creating little lines around the sort of curves of the body you don't have to follow every single joint for example here it looks kind of weird that arms going through the body i'm going to pretend it's just going to be the whole arm instead All right so this is what our noob looks like without anything now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer so we're going to create a layer called color and so make sure it's underneath the line trace and all i'm going to do is on this layer i'm just going to color in my character now you don't have to do this this is up to you you can you can literally just use the default roblox character image this is how i like to do it i'll actually just color in my whole character rather than just using the um default image we took all right so now once you've uh colored everything in what it should look like now of course it looks a little bit off what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer and we're going to call this layer noob shade you can call it whatever you want it's just a little layer to do shades now this is up to you as well i'm going to switch my brush to uh, a soft version all I'm going to do is I want sort of like a, a darker yellow, depending on uh, my skin over here. Yeah, and all I'm really going to do is just add in some darker shades to the um, arms. For example, maybe the back of the arm, maybe for example, this bottom hand. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow there. It's really up to you, wherever you want to add it. And okay, now once you're done, sometimes it might actually go over the edge. I'm just going to get the eraser tool and just rub off the little extra little part that I went over. 
this is what it looks like with just the yellow shading if i was to turn it off it'll just look like that so you can see the difference now to show you how exactly to do shading i found this image on the internet which is pretty good let's say for example the light is going from left to right so because of that you would naturally want to put the uh, lights on the left and then the sort of darker shades on the right when it's going up you would put the light underneath next to it and then you'll put the darker shades at the top so it's just kind of just using common sense where you think the light would be going and then just putting the shadows in the opposite direction so now that we are fully shaded in this is what it looks like so next up what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag in the head i'm just going to scale the head up a little bit and we're going to do the exact same thing as the noob right we're going to make a layer on top of that i'm going to call it cyan trace and we're going to get our black brush but uh, we're going to make sure that's on hard this time five pixels again and we're just going to do the exact same process as we did with the noob all right so here we go we have traced over the uh iron the next up is now the body okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to position the body here then i'm going to grab this head that i traced and sort of pop it on top but i think the head should go somewhere around here now going back onto that uh trace layer i'm now going to go get my brush and this time i'm just going to pretend like the head is there and now i'm just going to trace over the legs and the body and once i've finished it all as you can see, it looks like the head is part of the body. All right, so next, I'm going to use another layer called Cyan Color. Now I'm just going to paint inside. So I finished the Cyan. Now I'm going to switch to a black one. And inside this mouth, I'm just going to color it black. Okay, so that is basically it done. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the shades. I'm going to get a new layer. I'm going to call it Cyan Shade. Make sure we get our brush. Now I'm going to make it a little bit darker going to make sure that it's soft all i'm doing is just going around the edges sort of just playing around with what i think looks best it's really up to you guys how you want to do it all right so that is that done and without the shades that's what it looks like all right so now i'm happy with all of that so what i'm going to do now is just get all the layers and just merge them together and of course we don't need these images anymore all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to position it so let's say the noob is in this corner i want my monster to be a bit more bigger now for the box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it maybe 50% and that's just so that you can see through it. I'm going to add a new layer, call it box trace. Okay, so I'm just going to trace over those boxes. That looks pretty nice. Alright, so next I'm going to use another layer called box color. And we're doing the exact same thing as we've been doing with the cyan and the noob. I'm going to quickly paint all of this and I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. So we have painted in the box. Now of course we can't see our noob underneath it, but what we are going to do is selecting that layout we're just gonna lower the opacity a little bit and now we can see through the noob he doesn't look as clear because we got this sort of brown layer on top of it what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this little tool here it's kind of like a lasso tool called polygonal lasso tool i'm just clicking where i want and it. it's sort of creating a little trace around the character and we're just going to follow along the edge of the character until we finally sort of connect it up and that's going to select the whole character so i'm just going to use the rubber tool I'm removing 60% from this layer. It's only rubbing out the area that I selected. All right, and that looks pretty good. All right, now lastly, what I might do is I'm going to add a layer underneath all of that. I'm just going to call it shadow, right? Getting our brush, I'm going to make sure that our brush is soft and I'm going to go underneath it all. Sort of like a little shadow underneath one leg, underneath that leg, uh, and then underneath the noob. Okay, so we've got that. Now it looks really black right now, but if we select that layer, when we make the opacity about 60%, it doesn't look as black. It's sort of like a little shadow underneath. All right, now one last thing we're going to do, clicking on this tool, we're going to click exposure. We're just going to exposure it up a little bit, and that just makes it look more brighter. So this is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. And now we are done. We are done with the thumbnail, and then just save it as either a PNG or a JPEG. Tip number one, add some soft black shadows around the edges of your character. It can make it stand out more if you aren't adding lines on it. Tip number two, doesn't look quite right? Maybe try adding in some white lines to create an effect of a shining light appearing on the character. Tip number three, you're zooming around too fast in Roblox Studio, try holding shift while moving. This can slow you down and make it easier to get the perfect shot. Tip number four, another thing you can also do is create a mask on your layer. And then what you can do with that mask is using the paintbrush, you can use black to erase and then white to add back. This can help with any mistakes you make. Let's say you want to add an item from the catalog into Roblox Studio, but when you go to type it into the toolbox, it doesn't show up. Well, we'll try doing this. 
First you want to find the item you want. Let's say I want this piece of hair. Now all you got to do is go into the description of my video and use this code. Just copy it. Now once you've copied that code, go back into Roblox Studio and paste it into the search bar at the bottom right here. Now that we've done that, go back to your chosen item and copy the ID from the URL above. Now we're going to go back into Roblox Studio and paste it into this section. It's really important that you do it into this section. And then once you've done that, just press enter and now you've added it into the game. Alright, and lastly, you must like and subscribe the video. Yes, this is really important. If you don't do this, sorry, but it will not work, guys. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!